I'll use everything I have to make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, sorry, wrong garage. Hey, what do you think? Are you kidding? This is great. Well, I mean, you've taken a few liberties. These tires should be over. Oh, no, 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 yeah. don't. They're alphabetized. You alphabetized the tires? Mm-hmm. I just wanted you to know that, that I'm not a spoiled brat and I can pull my own weight. All right, what else have you done? Made fresh coffee, I see. And cookies. <laughs> you baked cookies? Well, I kind of bought them. But I just wanted you to know how appreciative I am of you letting me stay here. And this is just the beginning, Simon. Wait. You are going to see how useful I can be. Wait, wait, wait. Are these tools polished? Well, just the wrenches. And, you know, I would have baked those cookies by hand, but your kitchen is under, like, an inch of grease. So that is tomorrow's project. Clean up this place. I am so excited. I have so many ideas about how we can fix things up. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait, wait. <laughs> you are not doing any redecorating. Because this is a very temporary arrangement, and you should be spending your considerable energy on finding a job so you can get your own place to live, okay? Okay. Yeah, fine. I, I was just thinking, you know, in case. In case what? In case you and I do end up together. I mean, on a, on a permanent basis. <laughs> hey, it could happen. No, it couldn't. Look, don't kid yourself, Katie. I really appreciate everything you've done here, but it doesn't change anything. You and I do not, repeat, do not have a future together. Well, you know, Simon, I'm sorry, but in this case, I think you're the one who's kidding yourself. <clears throat> Having one. Well, maybe you should clean your ears out as well, Katie, because they don't seem to be hearing very well. Should I just speak up? You and I are never, ever, under any circumstance, getting married. You know what? You need to learn how to keep your options open, especially with the INS breathing down your neck. Well, I can handle them. Not alone. You need someone to cover for you. And who better than I, Katie Peretti, blushing bride in training. Look... You've been a huge help, and I totally appreciate everything you've done. Getting, getting free advice from your brother-in-law, worrying about my deportation hearing, even putting those tires in alphabetical oh, order. Oh, come on, you make me sound about as fun as a spinster. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just trying Didn't to say... Didn't I show you some real fun, Simon? Did I make this very car that you're sitting on a hotbed of memories? Let's not make too much of that, okay? Yes, you're good fun. You're great company, but that's... It's not enough to base the future on. Okay, fine. You can say no to the wedding, but let me just tell you that you're digging your own grave because the INS is going to bury you. No, they're not. I've done some research of my own. I should be getting a notice about a hearing, but that won't happen for a couple of months, which gives me enough time to get a lawyer and a strategy. Good luck finding one who will work for Grease Monkey's wages. I've got a friend who's got some family <laughs> connections. Oh, a friend. That's, that's a cute way to describe Lily. I don't want to talk about it anymore, okay? Fine. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. I don't know what Lily has told you about her family being Oakdale's an answer to the Kennedys, but you can forget it. Because even the high and mighty can't get around U.S. immigration I can laws. handle things on my own. I can be a pretty tough fighter, too, you know. Well, haven't you ever heard that anti-war slogan? From the 60s? Yeah, which one was that? Make love, not war. That's enough, Katie. You know, you wannabe immigrants are supposed to bone up on American history, so I could teach you a few things if you'll teach me some other things. You want to learn something about sex? Okay, here's lesson number one. Jumping on me has no more to do with making love than your proposal has to do with marriage. Whoa, Simon, hang on. You're not even trying. Hello, this is Mrs. Simon <sighs> Frazier. Is my husband's dry cleaning ready? See what a good wife I would be? I don't see anyone as my wife. Okay, if marriage had to do with, with house cleaning, loyalty, being fun in bed, then 
And maybe then you'd, you'd qualify, but it isn't. So you can forget about us ever exchanging rings. Simon. No, no, Katie, that's it. Enough. All right? Seriously, any more and I'll... I'll throw you out in your feather duster. I mean it. You would throw me out now, after everything we've been through? Wow, oh, that is exactly what I'm trying to say. We haven't been through anything together. Look, we barely even know each other. I know you, Simon. Yeah? How do you figure? You were my first lover. My first ever. And you know what that means? Whether you like it or not, you've changed my life. Teenage dirtbag? <laughs> what kind of song is that? I saw Vicky. Recognize this? It's a souvenir. I know it sounds kind of weird, but I wanted to keep something to remind me of one of the most beautiful nights of my life. It's the card from that INS guy. Hello, well. Yeah, you crumpled it up and threw it away, and I kept it. Okay, I don't think that you should be keeping souvenirs of a night oh, when we were please. both... So, don't start with the platonic friends lecture, Simon. You can't unring the bell. But we don't have to pretend that nothing happened. It, Good, but... because I don't think that I can. I thought some pretty amazing things happened that night. Now I understand why people get so weird when they sleep together. Hey. I mean, I waited for this for a long time. And if someone had told me that my first time would be in the back seat of a car like this, I would have told them that they were confusing me with some bimbo. But I'm not complaining. I, I could have been buck naked in an igloo and I wouldn't have noticed. Because it was pretty wonderful. Every minute of it. And I just wish that you thought it meant something too. Look, okay, it did. It did mean <clears throat> something. But something is not enough to get married on. I mean, this, this may sound like a novel idea, but shouldn't love come into a marriage somewhere? Even if the marriage is phony? Even if it means that a certain tall, dark Australian can stay in the country? Yes, even then. Even if the girl is indebted to you? Yes. All right. Well, I'm sorry if my being here has made your thoughts less than lily white. But just consider those kisses a down payment in case you ever want that debt paid. Okay? Don't push your luck, Katie. All right. Okay, fine. Don't worry. My lips are sealed about us and our romantic past. Good. Okay, so we understand each other. Yes, absolutely. Can I stay? For today. And tomorrow? Yes, all right, if you behave. I will, I will, I promise. Okay, I will never mutter the M word again. And if Agent Hallowell keeps bugging, just remember that the invitation is always open and the justice of the peace is just a phone call away. Look, I went by Bert's garage to ID Mr. Frazier. I thought you'd gone. Don't sneak up on me like that. Are you okay? Yeah. I just came back for a minute. Look, I'm working now, Katie, and I want to continue working. I don't have time to play any more games. No more games, Simon. I just came to remind you that I really do want to help you. And I want you to consider everything. I mean everything that I said. You've made that point already. Okay, you didn't have to come back here to make it again. Yes, I did. Because ever since our little liaison I haven't quite looked at the world or the men in it in the same way and I just want you to understand something yeah what's that that I am so so available that's it that's it. I'll see you later INS card. Some souvenir. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Hey. You gotta go. You gotta get out of here. Hey, what's, what's up? What's you gotta wrong? pack slow your down. bags and you have to run. You slow down. You're not making any sense. The INS, what? They're gonna come here with federal marshals. They're gonna make you leave the country tonight.